The White House calls al-Qaeda a vastly diminished terrorist network after President Joe Biden announced last night that a U.S. drone strike killed al-Qaeda leader Ayman al-Zawahri. The news comes as the 21st anniversary of the 9-11 terrorist attacks draws near. White House correspondent Owen Jensen reports. Owen. Tracy, good evening to you. Here on the North Lawn this morning, White House National Security Spokesman John Kirby essentially said a top terrorist is dead, gone, but also warned that the fight is far from over. Today, the White House tweets out this picture, writing, On July 1st, President Biden meets with his national security team to discuss the counterterrorism operation to take out Ayman al-Zawahiri. Last night, the president told the nation the al-Qaeda leader who plotted 9-11 with Osama bin Laden is dead. Justice has been delivered, and this terrorist leader is no more. As for al-Qaeda? Oh, my goodness. Al-Qaeda is nowhere near uh, the organization and, and the threat that it, that it once was, certainly on 9-11, or even 10 years ago when we killed bin Laden. On the day of the attack, smoke was seen rising over Kabul after the U.S. drone strike. And while the National Security Council coordinator for strategic communication said al-Qaeda has had its challenges, he also warns... That doesn't mean, however, that we can just take the eye off the ball and forget about them. Just like ISIS. ISIS is vastly diminished thanks to our efforts inside that coalition. But it doesn't mean they aren't a viable threat. Meanwhile, the president's health. Another daily update from the president's physician on his battle with COVID, saying the president tested positive again today and remains in isolation, adding he continues to feel well, though he's experiencing a bit of a return of a loose cough. He remains fever-free and in good spirits. The White House is also responding to America's newest health scare, with President Biden naming FEMA's Robert Fenton as the National Monkeypox Response Coordinator. The goal, mitigate the spread of the virus, protect individuals most at risk of contracting the virus, and care for those who have been afflicted with it. The CDC says there are now more than 5,000 confirmed monkeypox cases in the U.S. Also tonight, the U.S. Treasury Department announced what it calls, quote, a new round of sanctions targeting Kremlin-connected elites. It's trying to impose severe costs for those who support President Vladimir Putin's war against Ukraine. At the White House, Owen Jensen, EWTN News Nightly.